der, der Game Makers. This is the big patch, the thing which you have been waiting for. Maybe you haven't been waiting for it at all, but this patch is actually kind of huge because it changes quite a few things and I'm gonna go quickly over them so I'm not gonna annoy you with some details just a few things so you understand that this uh, Game Maker Studio this is the before 2.3 so this is gonna change a little bit and then I'm gonna go into a few things which I guess are more interesting to you so basically what you have here you have your resources where you have your sprites your tiles and everything is organized in those kind of categories but that is gonna get kicked out we're gonna have an asset what, what do they call that asset browser yeah so basically the same thing but you can organize it the way you want and just have folders which is kind of a great thing and then a few other things so let's check out the new stuff and here we are back with the brand new 2.3 version which looks like well the old one just a little different icon now it is what is it cyan magenta magenta was i guess the big one so this is cyan Bleh. i like the green version but hey this is i guess personal preference and then here the first thing which you need to understand it because this is a kind of a new system therefore you can of course take your old projects which were before 2.3 but you need to save it as a new project so therefore you will have some um, let's call it difficulties between the old and the new one so what does it mean so basically once you have a project which is 2.3 you cannot go back to let's say an older installation because i don't know you prefer the older one at some point it will become obsolete just Keep that in mind so let's say i'm having my old project which is called which is yyp okay so i guess the uh, the way the files are um, the project is called so they haven't changed that and then it says like hey this project is of an older format you will need to be an and and it will need to be converted proceed yes of course and then what do we do? I don't know, call it a racing, a racing game because I already did this uh, two times. And then, then it says, hey, project has been successfully converted. And then you are you are being killed with tons of these things. What, what can we do with those? Well, that, <laughs> because we don't need it. Get rid of that stuff. So here, what you see, now we don't have our, uh, what was that called before? The asset tree. Now the resource tree now it is the asset browser yay yay for the same stuff and here what you uh well as you what you see now that there are no categories you just say hey let's create an asset and of course you can import and as you can see looks kind of neat two little buttons and then we say hey i need i don't know some objects let's create a new object give it a name obj Oh, obj uh, i don't know new uh, let's go for player because we are super original not really and then let's uh, i don't know give it some color so this is the new stuff so this is kind of interesting and then we can actually give it some tags so edit tags i don't know uh stupid here we go and we can actually give those tags and then we go for stupid and it doesn't work because we <laughs> we search for tags and then as you can see we have our stupid tags and then it will pop up here so this is the interesting part so um this is another way how you can actually search your stuff because what you will be doing so create a group so group is now in the end just a folder so let's call it folder because it is folder player and then yay put the player inside here and then we want to create our room create where are you room here we go room one and then maybe we want to create another room i create a room Bam. room two and what you will see that there is a little icon we can actually zoom this is cool so we have a little icon here which just says this is the first room um, when the game is being started so this is a little change here there is still the syntax of 
away, go away, object player. That you have uh, uh, go to, come on, go to room or go next or go previous. So this, as it seems, still does work. So this, there seems to be a hierarchy, but not sure um, if that makes sense. So I would just go use the go to and then room and then I don't know the room name, which would be room one. So go to room. I wouldn't be using. Um, Go to next, go to. Okay. Room add, room assign, exist, get. Go to. So, yeah, this is the one which we are looking for. And then this is how you would be jumping from one room to the other one. The other ones, not sure how that works because let's say you're having a room here and then you have a folder here and then you have a folder here and then you're saying, okay, what kind of hierarchy does exist in that? We're going to test that out in the future so you won't be confused as I am right now. So this is the new stuff. And once again, you have a quick access so you can set favorites. You can give tags because maybe you want to find some stuff. And then this is the interesting part, recent windows. And then, for example, if you have been jumping between, I don't know, let's create a sprite. And then you have a sprite and then, I don't know, your object where you put that sprite in. Go on, where is the sprite? So let's make a beautiful one, as you can see, a little bit different, but it's basically the same. So let's not make it rah, rah, rah. It works definitely the same. So, ah, great. Uh, <laughs> is there actually anything new which is meant? Well, as you can see, you have your alignment, which is here, so middle center. Somewhere here, you have your animation. Which just looks hilarious in my opinion. Of course, here you can toggle what kind of animation you want to have. Collision mask, the same stuff, manual, rectangle, blah, blah, blah. And then group. Interesting part is, no, that's actually all correct. So here we're having our sprite and our object player. And then let's say you want to edit both of them all the same time. And for example, what you could do, I don't know, put these things as tabs here but now you can jump it between let's say your sprite and your recent window or whatever and then this is kind of a history which is kind of neat and then you can um, go and go in between those and you can jump between those so this is another way how you can find yourself cool things in my opinion so here once again let's say you have a folder you just put in all the stuff you which you need and then this is the cool part and now we come to a few more changes because, of course, link in the description below. This is uh, the well, the official release, and it was released on Friday, the 14th, well, August, which is a lie because I <laughs> I was opening my Game Maker Studio uh, the last few days, even today, and just well now they gave me the option to download it, so. Not sure what that is all about. Maybe in other countries they released it later or something like this. I don't know. So I was just able to upgrade it today. So here I guess I'm not too late. Maybe I am. I just missed the train as usual. Damn it. But what are the new changes besides that you have to transfer it to the newer format of Game Maker Studio? So once again, the asset browser, as you can see. The resource tree bye bye and then well you can filter give tags and search and make favorites yada 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 and quick access them why not it's not the worst thing and then of course we come to the big hitter here which is our sequences so the inbuilt animation tool which is pretty cool so this stuff now is free for everybody so you just download it and well if you upgrade it to the newer version, which is free, so if you own Game Maker Studio 2, now it is available, not just in the beta or beta version. I don't know how to spell that, so say it. Eh. Okay, and then here we have Delta Ghosting. I have no idea or show access. I have no idea what that means, but Delta Ghosting, whatever that is, sounds pretty cool. <laughs> I'm, not re I'm really not sure what that actually means. And what uh, thing uh, it has in common so what these things are i guess i will have to read in and then show access 
Delta Ghost. No idea what that means, but sounds pretty cool, so I like it instantly. Yay! And well, once again, sequences, pretty cool. So this is the really, really big uh, new thing, which as an asset you have. And then the animation curve, which is, well, this guy here. I already did a video on that. And let's make it smooth. And then, well, if you didn't, don't want to play with the, with the lab, you can actually do a little graph here and then put in those values. And then they will just go according these kind of curves, which is pretty cool. And then, well, you can do lots of lots of great things, which I'm going to do in the future now. So this is the interesting part. And then little change uh, for uh, what they put it in. So there is some cold folding, but I'm not sure how you can actually do this. Tap in code snippets. Okay, this is old stuff, two columns, three columns, there is some cold falling because, but I cannot find it, so nah, so you can uh, check it out and I will do that also, so this is being enabled as it seems, alright, why not, I was using the region thing for cold falling, so end region, but if you have that at some point with some other thing as well so why not so as you can see we can do that as well and what is the next thing actually uh, let's say function i don't know bam do something like this do we have cold folding does it work yes ah, as you can see this is the cold folding so if you have those brackets then it will automatically do that, so you don't need to put that into region. Of course, region is, for me, a little favorite, so if you want to fold your stuff and put that into regions and then give it a funky name, oh, it will automatically do that uh, if you just have those brackets. So this is cold folding, found it out, yes. So this is new stuff. And then if we're having scripts, so this has been changed also, so I will give you some uh, as you can see, the, this has been changed. And then, for example, here you have the name of the script. I don't know, banana. And let's call it, do it change? No. Come on. So I guess it needs to have the same name. Um, and then you have it in brackets. And then you put stuff inside here. So before that, scripts were just like loose code which you can just dump in here and then you can reuse it in, in, in other objects so this was just a great dumping ground for reusable code of course uh, the same idea is in here but they put it into well a function syntax so this i guess they are trying to emulate higher uh, programming languages where this is a standard foo i don't like it but i guess it has its uh, advantages. I don't see any, but I guess it has any. So, yeah. kick that out. Another thing is arrays have been uh, has have been changed to um, what was that? To one D array. So there will be a video on that from my side as well. Go away. Does it work? Okay, interesting stuff. Um, so arrays have been changed as well. So you can do 1D arrays and it seems this will be easier. And beyond that too. So uh, I guess the next couple of videos will be about the new changes. So you will feel comfortable uh, when you well, update to the newest version. Then cold folding, sprite editor, changes, yada, yada, yada. So if you say like way too much stuff and maybe this is buggy and I'm not sure, this is an official release. So of course, because this is the first one, I guess they will maybe have some bugs. Uh, this is inevitable for if you do uh, well <laughs> programming, this is normal. So if you say like, mm, I want to wait out maybe one or two other versions, then you don't download it and then use it whenever you feel like this is suitable for you. But I would say just go ahead with it because hey, what can you do? So of course, just be aware that maybe it can shred your old project. Of course, they made sure that it doesn't. 
but he, here I am not sure this is always like with, with new software there's always some probabilities which um, can actually damage old stuff so just be aware of that but as far as I know no, no, none, of the, none of that stuff has been reported so I guess it does work because I, as you can see I just imported an old one and worked pretty much fine so eh, from my side not a problem here and of course well the manual now is offline so if you go and I don't know uh, and then F, F1 of those things then let's go and check it out where are you then you will be uh, here with a brand new Game Maker Studio 2 manual and I guess this has been optimized so you can watch it in your um, browser or in your smartphone so I guess for that it has been optimized I can drop let's check it out if there are lots of pictures here yeah there are lots of pictures I guess they updated that so yay 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 so here sprite sprite informations but get name mm, doesn't look too special in my opinion but hey scripts well this is the new stuff and then well I will go over that in uh, in future videos because there are some changes here as you can see asset browser yada 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 then strings this was the interesting part so here string formatting I don't even know if that was in the old uh, in the old manual but here the formatting didn't even know it was uh, working correctly I had some issues there but here this is how you can put strings together and then format and for example have a new line and also stuff which is standard in, uh, let's say java or c c sharp and or whatever they're all called and so you have a very similar syntax concerning how to format uh, your drinks anything else well asynchronous i'm gonna go into detail so this is the the, <laughs> the hardcore stuff for i don't know some internet games or cloud saving or I don't know your uh, MMORPG so this is the stuff because you need to uh, load and save stuff in between yeah not gonna go into that and then of course you got maybe uh, there could be some interesting things in Game maker language, yeah, in, in this stuff. So Steam overlay, leaderboards, yeah, this could be interesting for me as well. And maybe go into some details. So hopefully you got an impression of the new 2.3. Don't be afraid. Uh, <laughs> this engine is your... Uh, I almost said your enemy, but your friend, of course. Ay ay ay. Uh, well, I guess way too late to make videos. And, well hopefully you will feel um, at home and basically you just create those things on the fly which is a pretty cool thing but i guess you can get pretty quickly lost in that kind of things but hey i guess just a few things you need to get used to and then well you will feel at home like the old one because the old and the new one there is not too much difference concerning most of the stuff of course once again videos incoming for some changes yeah so that was it for today just playing around don't mind me have a good one one up indie